Earlier in my lectures, I showed that a uniformly solid sphere has electric field zero inside, and I even showed to you that a hollow conducting sphere also has zero electric field inside. Today I have demonstrated that it doesn't have to be a sphere, you don't need spherical symmetry, that any shape, provided that it's a hollow conductor, it has to be a conductor, any shape will give you an electric field of zero inside. And I first want to demonstrate that. I have here something that is not a sphere. It's a paint can. It has some aluminum on top. There's an opening there. It's not perfect. It's not really closed like this is. So the electric field inside will not be exactly zero. But it will be very close. I must have an opening because I want to get in. I want to get charge, see whether there's any charge on the inside. So I must be able to get through. So I'm going to charge this one. And then I will take some charge of the outside and take some charge of the inside and use the electroscope and see whether we can demonstrate that indeed there is charge on the outside, but there is nothing on the inside. I will use the same method that I used last time when I challenged you to figure out how this works. This is this crazy message which we call electrophorus. Elect elect Electrophorus, it's difficult to pronounce, electrophorus. We have here a glass plate. I rub it with cat fur. Think about it again, it's a little problem inside the problem. Metal plate, I put it on top, I touch it, I get a shock. I touch it here, I touch it again, I get again a shock. And I charge this up, I touch it again, I get another shock and I touch it again. Let's get a little bit more on it. The charge on this plate is positive, by the way, that I create on the glass. I touch it. Jesus. The charge on here is negative, not positive. Put it on again, touch it. Okay. So I should have negative charge on there now. Here is a little test sphere. It's a conductor. I'll take some charge off from this side. Touch it. Boy, there's charge. There's no question. We agree, right? There's charge. Okay, now I touch the inside. Let's hope that no sparks fly over. I touch it, nothing. See it? Absolutely nothing. So there's no charge inside, the charge is on the outside, which is what I just demonstrated. So you see it in front of your own eyes. All the charge goes to the outside. Not so intuitive, but an immediate consequence of the fact that it's a conductor, that the electrons will move freely, so that the electric field in the conductor itself is zero, and we have argued that no charge can ever go on the inside of the surface. It all stays on the outside. So when I touch the inside, there was no charge. <laughs> 